Ah, hello, it's Jabba here, and what we're having a look at today is something for Luxus users, which um, is not something that I deal with normally, uh, because I, I, I use reality myself, but I won't go into that right now. Um, uh, okay, so it's for people who, who are using Luxus, so this is um, so that you can access uh, Lux Render um, via uh, your built-in interface um, inside Daz Studio. And what I'm looking at specifically is how to convert a normal uh, sky dome uh, into a light source. Um, so one that's not been purpose built uh, for, for, for use via Lu Luxus, for instance. Um, so if I bring up Dash Studio and just just load a scene. So, so this is the, the last scene that that, that, that I actually. Well, I, I did this in reality, but 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 I'll show you the the, the same process for um, doing it in uh, Luxus. Okay. So just for argument's sake, let's have a little look around. Just for my own personal preference, what I always do is I always put the um, I always put the sky dome color into the diffuse as well. That 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 way I can I can see what I'm doing with, uh, with the preview. So just hovering over to see VV Sky Dome. Um, surprise, surprise is the name for it. So let's scan down. There is. See, like, like I said, that, that's um, all. All that's for is just so that I can see, um, see, see what I'm looking at uh, in preview. Uh, you, you know, you know, for the, for the render, it's the at this point in time, it's the ambient color that's the uh, the, the one that applies. Um, okay. Um, so all we need to do uh, with the sky dome is apply. The Lux Render material, the Luxus Lux Render material. Oh, before I do that, before I do that, I shall explain. You see, the normal, traditional way of doing things for adding a light um, to an object is in the parameters tab. Um, Luxus Lux Lux Render light, and then um, you select the, the type of light you're looking for. Um, based on interactions on the DAS forum, none of these actually work for, for this purpose, um, which is why I'm doing this video, really. Um, so if you go in and use surfaces uh, and your sky dome, and if you add Luxus Lux, Lux render material, and here, well, I'll just leave all the all switcher um, uh, because I don't really want to waste time trying to work out which one to use. I click on light parameters, click on copy studio parameters. That, that way we don't need to worry about copying and pasting the, um, the, the image files. Accept that. And then when we're done at Lux Render, we can see that we've got light. Make sure that light is enabled. And it we do actually need to manually put it on, sorry. Well, as you can see, I've not exactly rehearsed this. <laughs> it's a sky dome. So what this is now doing, so now the light source is using the actual sky dome texture. Um, a bit like you would with like an HDR image, o only it's not, uh, although I would stress, although this is not an HDR image, so it does not have the high quality of an HDR file. Um, but it at least will give you um, light colouring um, and intensities um, that reflect the actual visual that you'll see with the sky dome when you're doing your final render. So, so, so it's handy that you know, rather than just having a, a, a flat color, you're going to have multicolor um, a light source, a, which, which is um, sp a specific to the um, to, to, to to the environment image that you've got. 
Um, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, well, <laughs> tough really. I'm, I'm, um, I'm in a bit of a rush today. <laughs> um, okay, um, just to make this easier to render, um, we'll get rid of most of most of the props. Just ju you know, just so that it transfers um, quicker. What we'll do? We'll leave the leave the hall there, perhaps. Um, Obviously, we, want to, we need to keep the sky dome. Uh, okay, let's just obviously fog camera. It doesn't matter because because the the fog's not going to work in uh, in Luxus anyway, uh, and uh, uh, when it's transferred to Lux render. Okay, let's just, let's let's just for argument's sake put it here and uh, render settings. Let's render by Luxus. Uh, make sure that um, we've got um, use Lux Render GUI switch to on. That way we can actually adjust settings on the fly uh, after the render has started inside Lux Render. Um, now, ideally, what I would do is add at least a sunlight as well. Um, but, like, uh, but I'll just for argument's sake, right this very second, we'll just start rendering this. Um, you know, so that I can then talk while it's while you're actually seeing it, rather than. Um, okay. So obviously, um, if if you're doing this as a final scene, all all your um, all of your um, objects would have had you know you'd have to have set them up with the, with the with the appropriate material settings for 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 the, the look that you want. Um, I'm just looking at the log. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, it started. And what we're seeing here is our light source is the sky dome. There's no other light there there's no other light at present. Now if I change this from auto linear to linear, that's where um, we can suddenly uh, manu start manually adjusting things. Because here it's like we're looking and going, yeah, the foreground's awful dull. Um, now we could actually uh, whack this up. Um, but as you're seeing, as, uh, as, as we're incre increasing the intensity of the sky dome, we're losing detail in the sky dome. Uh, itself, because the brighter that light's getting, the more it's burning out the the actual texture detailing, which is why I would be inclined to um, set you know, you know so so we can use this as perhaps like an ambient light, and then have a sun you know like have a additional light sources like for instance the sunlight to, um, to, to 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 then add more pop to the to to, to the central scene. Um, Yeah, I'll do. Okay, because um, obviously here uh, on on the fly we can um, we could actually adjust the the light source to be uh, very cold, um, very warm. Um, you know, or, or we could actually specify uh, an actual color as well. Um, you know, yeah. Well, I see. You know, you can do that for for any light source. You know, so personally, I would not actually touch any of these uh, um, adjustments for a sky dome, because um, the whole point is you're wanting to use the actual colours that you're seeing. Um, and um, 
and of course, uh, just generally speaking, uh, once you, once you've got your um, uh, the gamma and film response, this is another thing I use all the time, absolutely all the time. Um, see, because that's the thing. Once you've got um, your scene into Lux Render and you're using the Lux Render interface, then it doesn't matter what your source has come from. You know, it's like so whether your Lux is whether your reality, whether, and whether it's any other program. Um, it is now just simply rendering the data that's been sent to it. So all of this, uh, all all of these settings, uh, that uh, therefore apply no matter what uh, uh, wh what your original source was um, for the scene that you actually sent into Lux Render. Uh, so here, for instance, you've got these w where it simulates different uh, film types. Um, so to do some a couple of extreme ones just so that you can see the difference you know it's like you know you, and you could boost the gamma up if you were wanting to um balance it out a bit um and I've just crashed lux render that's um interesting that <laughs> that just doesn't happen normally <laughs> okay 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 um but you get the idea. That's certainly how the um, uh, how to convert a sky dome, uh, you know, or a sky dome or a sky box, um, into a light source. Um, as far as actually altering things uh, inside Lux Render in a flash, maybe do a, a separate a separate video for that sometime. Uh, but um, as things stand, that's how it's done. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. -bye.